Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. We seem to be having trouble with Microsoft's topological qubits claim, and I'm gonna break it down in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So recent developments suggest that Microsoft's claim of creating the first topological qubit is facing significant scrutiny from the quantum computing community. So while Microsoft announced a breakthrough in quantum computing with their Major Anna one chip experts have raised doubts about the validity of their claims. So here's the, some of the key points of contention. So there's the lack of peer reviewed evidence. So Microsoft's claim has not been fully supported by peer reviewed research. The nature editorial team pointed out that the results in Microsoft's manuscript do not represent evidence for the presence of major Anna zero modes in the reported devices. You have previous retractions, so Microsoft's history of retracting similar claims, such as their 2018 assertion of creating major on a zero modes, has made experts cautious about accepting their current claims. You have the expert analysis, so several experts who have examined the publicly available evidence suggest that there are good reasons to doubt Microsoft's achievement of topological qubits. You have the measurement challenges, so the particular type of topological qubit Microsoft claims to use called the Majorana mode is extremely difficult to measure and verify. Next, we have the commercial viability, so even if Microsoft's claims are validated, the practical application of topological qubits remains uncertain as other quantum com computing approaches have made significant advancements. Now, here are the potential implications if Microsoft's topological qubits are confirmed. So we have improved stability and scalability. So topological qubits are designed to be inherently more stable and less prone to errors compared to current qubit technologies, such as superconducting or trapped ion qubits. This would drastically reduce the need for error correcting overhead making it easier to scale quantum computers to millions of qubits. If you like this video so far, hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you got what you came here for and you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and the like button. So a scalable quantum computer with fewer errors could accelerate progress toward utility scale quantum computing, enabling practical applications that are currently out of reach. We have the breakthroughs in computational power, so topological qubits could enable quantum computers to perform trillions of operations on millions of qubits, which is critical for solving complex problems in areas like material science, drug discovery, and optimization. So the ability to manipulate information through quantum entanglement in a more robust manner could lead to exponential speedups for certain types of calculations compared to classic classical um you know computers you have the revol revolutionizing cryptography so if microsoft can scale its topological qubits it may accelerate the timeline for building crypt analytically relevant quantum computers such machines could break classical encryption methods like rsa and elliptic curve cryptography necessitating a shift to quantum resistant cryptographic protocols we have the commercial and industrial applications so a fault tolerant quantum computer based on topological qubits would make quantum computing commercially viable with applications spanning artificial intelligence logistics climate modeling and financial modeling so darpa's support for microsoft's work highlights the potential national security and industrial significance of this technology and lastly we have the scientific milestone so confirming the existence of topological qubits would validate decades of theoretical physics research on majorna's you know quasi particles and topological phases of matter this would represent a major milestone in both physics and engineering so that's what i have you today hit that subscribe button and the like button if you like this video you want more like it and you were educated entertained and you're happy hit that subscribe button and the like button see you in the next video